Hey there guys, DMO73 here, bringing you the second deck profile of the day. This is for Jonathan Warrett's Snow White Fire Light list. Let's just go ahead and jump right in. So to start off, we have Snow White, who has the J activate of pay a light, pay a red, and pay two colorless, or pay one and discard a poison apple. Flips over into Bloody Snow White, who has target attack, 1300, 1300. Um, activate, tap, rest, rest, target J slash resonator. Uh, and pay one and discard a poison apple to destroy target resonator. Really, really powerful, really, really aggressive, um, really strong in terms of stats uh, and the ability to, like, during your opponent's turn, if you're good on stones, do that little trick with, like, tapping down your opponent's creatures or J resonators so they can't tap for stones is, is really, really cool. So, yeah, moving on. Speaking of stones, stone lineup is four heat rays. Three stones of light and three stones of fire. So you don't want to, this deck runs mains more split heaven and earth, so you don't want to split yourself too much. And because you're dual color, you really don't need much more than that. Going into the monster lineup, one drops two Holy Warrior Pope, three Queen's Butler. This is to serve as like your protection for Snow White once Snow White hits the board, because you definitely don't want her to go anywhere and three Hunter and Black Forest for that aggression. Two drops, we just have a couple of Beowulf the Blazing Wolf. Um, he can close out games really fast if your opponent's not paying attention, um, especially since this deck runs um, Poison Apples, obviously, and uh, Ragnarok. Beowulf can quickly turn into something that can deal 1,200, 2,400 damage in one swing. So really, really powerful card. Uh, three drop slots is two little dread the fake red moon um, to be able to spot remove stuff, take stuff to close out games, untap his own things to swing in for game. Lots of different things that he can do with that. One able just to be able to potentially board wipe and having another target attacker never hurt anybody. So really really good. A couple of mind reading foxes to be able to have that kind of hexproof protection because his spell lineup doesn't really offer a lot of protection. Uh, and so having some creatures that he doesn't, he can just play and not have to worry about protecting them from spells and abilities is really, really powerful there. And then a dragon package of a two Gilderai and two Blazer. Um, both of these guys are pretty self-explanatory in any deck that runs red. Um, never dies, uh, pretty much never dies um, aggression and closing out games when your opponent is least expecting it. Really, really cool. For the spell lineup, you'll have to mind that I don't have all the copies of each card. Um, things are pretty crazy with the unboxing of Millennia of Ages, so I couldn't find some of the copies in the maps. So, spells are four, Poison Apple, pretty obvious because it's a Snow White deck and you need four. Only three Thunder, which I thought was an interesting choice, but he backs it up with three Duel of Truth um, because of Snow White and all of his Ragnaroks that he uses. So I can understand why he dropped the thunder. Um, he doesn't really need it in this sense. Three signed to the future to serve against other aggression decks and when he needs to kind of cleanse the board when he's maybe falling behind a little bit. Or split heaven and earth to just say I'm done with you finish this game right now you saw on the match he hit me twice for 2100 split really really powerful card um, if not if not respected and expected and then to close it out four Ragnaroks these can go on Snow White and make her even bigger of a tank um, plus the fact that she already has target attack is really really awesome plus these can go on his little tiny creatures and make them really big threats too uh, and they can help him recur life, so really, really good, I thought, uh, choice to back up Snow White. So yeah, guys, there you have it. That is Jonathan Warritt's Bloody Snow White Firelight list. Um, really, really fun. It was nice to meet him. It was great to play the games. Let me know what you thought of his list, what you think he would change, what you would add, um, what you would take out. Maybe you don't even know what you would add yet. Um, but go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys, this is DMO73, signing off.